video is sponsored by Squarespace. More on them in a bit. Admittedly, I don't miss being a student or at least everything about student life like I could do without those late night study sessions But I do miss having an excuse to buy back to school supplies and every time the back to school season comes around The temptation within me to buy stationery is there and although I didn't really intend to buy stationery I've noticed that over the last few weeks I've picked up little things here and there that I think warrant a little haul I think they're some fun stuff to talk about Not everything I picked up is traditional stationery like I don't think there's a, a notebook included in here but there are other note like pen like things I know you guys speak my language when it comes to this stuff so let's just dive right in annotating books has been something that I feel like has been gaining more and more popularity on the internet I love seeing how people annotate their books meaning like how they write notes how they highlight what tools they use I've dabbled into it myself especially with nonfiction books that's the one I have the most comfort annotating because something about marking a fiction book just feels wrong to me but this thing right here is the solution to that it's a transparent sticky note and I've had this particular one for a bit this has grids on them but I finally picked up the post-it version of the transparent sticky note so they don't look transparent right now but I'll include some b-roll where you can see that once they're on the page they practically disappear so it allows you to write on the sticky note or write on the book without actually permanently writing on the book so these ones are really funky because they have the grid I'll link them down below they're I think a Japanese brand so I, I can't at the top of my mind uh, remember which brand it is but I'll also link these ones these have a bigger surface area so I feel like you can really have some fun annotating but I also like the grid on here because the grid allows you to write straight but such a fun thing to play around with and especially if you're like unsure if annotating is the is the route for you this is a great way to experiment without any commitments I had shared this on Instagram and people were wondering what pen I used on them because I guess some people have tr difficulty with some writing devices I found the sharpie s gel pens to be pretty good they write smoothly you do have to kind of just give it a second to cement into the sticky note so it doesn't smudge but it worked for me one of my favorite highlighters ever are the mild liner double ended highlighters but I haven't bought new ones in ages because I have gotten all the colors I felt well stocked but I had to throw out some that had dried out and I also made the realization that there's new colors that I haven't tried myself so that had to end I can't go on like that I love these highlighters and I love them especially for reading when I annotate my books through highlights these are often one of the ones I opt for so I got this set that is more like pastel and again I'll include b-roll footage of me kind of testing all these out so you can see the color actually on paper but then I went to my parents and my mom was like do you have this one and I'm like what is this one this is a whole new set of colors and I love these ones in particular I feel like they're very fall-esque Oh, I'm just realizing some of these are in this. Well, I'm well stocked, <laughs> but my mom ended up giving me hers. Like how, how adorable is that? She's like, oh, just take it with you to the city. Gifts in the form of stationery, Mwah, beautiful. But I'm really pumped to give these a go because it's nice to have some fun new colors. And I do like to match the highlighting color as close as I can with the book cover. Gives it that extra little sophisticated touch. Something about the green one in particular is making me happy. Another classic book annotation tool is to use sticky tabs and I want to get some really cool colored sticky tabs so I'm gonna maybe look on Etsy for those because I know you can get some really uh, sophisticated colors but I did opt for buying a set of white ones I don't know how I don't have this yet but I feel like this is just a classy page flag look you know because it's white it won't like be too obvious when you're looking at the pages of a book but it'll still be visible so I'm excited to experiment with these because sometimes those like neon sticky tabs like just aren't the mood that I'm feeling sometimes I just want something more neutral whenever people talk about about tape when it comes to stationery I think washi tape always gets the attention because admittedly it is really pretty they come in nice fun designs but I actually had to buy a new roll of masking tape and I got like the classic neutral beige color I have not talked to you enough about my love for masking tape I love using this for so many things quick labels when I'm organizing labeling things in the fridge too so like you write with a sharpie on it and just stick it on like oh opened on this date this comes in handy when you're trying to like align prints on the wall I don't know there's a, there's so many uses for masking tape and I bought my previous roll years ago but I finally like got to the end of it and even though it's not something I use like every day I use it often enough that I was like I need to get another one because this is so handy to have. Same with duct tape. I have duct tape 
at all times because you never know when something needs to be fixed with a little DIY goodness. Duct tape is truly the temporary handyman. I don't think of stationery when I think of home scents and winners, but by their checkout section, it seems like, I don't know if it's just because it's this time of year, they have integrated a little bit more stationary options, which is dangerous because the checkout line is where I am vulnerable. Usually I'm pretty good about not making impulse buys like that though. However, I saw a company in that section that I recognize and love. I own a lot of their pieces. And I just like the, the way that they design stuff. So the company is Fringe and I ended up getting this beautiful easel desktop notepad. I mean, look at the cover of this thing. I am curious to see what the pages look like. I assume they're just a basic lined notepad. I guess we'll find out in the B-roll footage when I open this up. But I love the cover of it. I think it'll look really great on my desk, which is where I would often have something like this. I think of all paper stationary products, I go through to-do lists or notepads for to-do lists the fastest because I am constantly, constantly, constantly making lists. Just how my brain like processes information and feels less stressed and why not feel less stressed with something pretty. They had an Italy one too and I think a Rome one. I was trying to see if they had a Portugal one but Spain will have to do. Again, because I'm always writing to-do lists and reminders, I also got hypnotized by this block pad. I don't think they're sticky but these are great for little reminders that I keep on my desk because often when I am writing these types of reminders, I leave them on my desk. I just really love the design of them. I think the coloring is really gorgeous and it's not too tiny that it's not functional. Fringe is a really cute brand. I know Indigo sells a lot of Fringe. That's I think where I bought some of their stuff before and at some local Toronto shops. Have you ever wanted to create a career on your own terms, build a loyal following, or simply find like-minded people that also share your passion for pasta art, mocktails, or traveling to new places? Starting a blog of your own can be a great launching point for your online journey. Sound overwhelming? Here's the good news. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that makes starting, designing, and updating a site of your own so easy. By using Squarespace, you get access to a wide selection of gorgeous templates to choose from that can help make your website look clean and professional. Every template is flexible so you can make your site look and function in the way that you want on every device. Updating my own site is a breeze and I love that I can use the Squarespace app on my phone when I'm out of office to quickly make updates to video links and layouts wherever I am. How amazing is that? You can check out squarespace.com today for a free trial and use the URL squarespace.com slash Caitlin's Corner to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain when you're ready to launch. Speaking of Indigo, I did unsurprisingly buy some pieces from there. They have so much great stuff out right now for back to school season in the stationery department, even for like locker organization. Kind of makes me wish I had a locker. If you don't know, Indigo has their own line called Noda. That is like their exclusive line, in-house line of stationery design. One of the things that they came out with, I think recently, is this passwords book. It's got this stunning green cover, these gold rings. And when you open it, everything is organized alphabetically, which is really handy for a password book. Then it's easy to find what you're looking for. You have a section to write the name, the website, your username, password, some extra notes. I do use and adore my digital password keeper so that I don't have to constantly like manually enter in my passwords. But I do like to have paper record of certain passwords like exclusively that I just want to make sure don't exist anywhere else and also just like for backups of ones that I want to make sure I don't lose so this will be really handy I like the fact that it's not like super I know it says password on the on the cover but it's not super obvious like you kind of have to look at it and if it's on a shelf or something it's not in your face password keeper i've been using a notebook to keep my passwords in and it is frustrating to have to go hunt down for the password because a notebook doesn't have these tabs built in i think this will be a lot more efficient and this is the first one that i've come across in like probably the year that i've been looking for one of these that i really like the design of it it's not even like that crazy but some of these password keepers can go wild also green is like my favorite color at the moment as we can maybe tell <laughs> the other thing that I picked up from the Nota line is a magnetic calendar. So it has a magnet on the back, full month at a glance view. And I thought this would be really great for putting on my fridge door for keeping track of things like cleaning day, trash day, groceries, when I'm going home, just like a lot of home focused things. I think it's a natural thing to have exist on the fridge. And this kind of gives you some structure rather than just having the whiteboard that I have there right now where it's kind of random notes here and there. This, I can be a little bit more strategic. And I 
really adore the fact that this is super blank so I can really customize the look each month based on what pens and, and markers I'm using. I can add washi tape, I can, you know, go crazy if I want to or keep it really, really simple. I feel like this would be a great thing for someone's locker too. It might be a little too wide for that. But as a student, I know I always loved having something like this for keeping track of due dates. So lots of uses for a calendar, student or not. This is probably one of the more unconventional stationary items in this haul and it's inspired by my mom. So what up, Chris? <laughs> I never called my mom Chris. Anyways, but my mom one day was calling me up and she's like, I just ordered this thing off of Amazon that I'm super excited about. And at first I didn't really see the beauty in it, but then as I dwelled on the thought, I was like, you know what? I wanna join in on that. And that item is a color by numbers coloring book. So it's different than a coloring book because it actually has numbers on each part of the image. So you know exactly what color you're supposed to be using. So it takes kind of like any stress you might have about picking the right color out of the equation because it tells you which one to use. And unlike a paints by number, it's not as messy. It doesn't require you to have like a whole setup going. You can really easily do this in front of the TV. Fall and winter is when I tend to spend a little bit more time indoors than usual. And I like the idea of having a hobby that's not scrolling on my phone. And this could be something I could see myself really enjoying because you kind of then just get lost in the, the mechanics of filling the colors in. I find doodling and drawing to be very therapeutic, so just kind of following like instructions and staying within the lines feels like something I could get lost in. There's a lot of different versions of these on Amazon. I'll link again this one that I got in particular because this one is a beautiful patterns one, but there's tons of different themes. Although my e-reader is technically not stationary, it feels like stationary to me because otherwise I would be having like a physical book in my hands, but as we know, I really do love my Kindle and my Kobo. This is the Kindle Paper White Signature Edition. It will be linked below. Recently, I got a clear case for it because my other case was kind of starting to fall apart. Something I've seen on the internet that I think has been really cool is people customizing their Kindle Kobo cases when they get these clear ones. I ended up doing my version of this and I'll include like video clips of me doing that. This is what the final result ended up being and I wanted to bring attention to it today because I used a lot of stationery that I tend to use when I am bullet journaling or just journaling in general. I have washi tape on the side here. I have stickers, like these ones are so pretty. I use my book embosser to emboss this circle with the from the library of Caitlin De Silva. You can get a custom book embosser from Etsy. So fun, so cool, like an essential for any reader in your life, a great gift idea. I also added like a little dream card that is all about reading. From a, a deck of dream cards I have, I added some like grid paper at the bottom, I wrote on it. And I think I just really think this is cool because you can take or reimagine the way that you use a lot of these stationery tools. Like it doesn't always have to be exclusively for paper. There are some other instances where I think it works really well. The washi tape that I use is from Note Therapy notebook therapy note therapy if the collection is still available it would be linked but if not i'll link the website because they have so many beautiful pieces same with archer and olive like archer and olive has incredible washi tape incredible add-ins like this that you can use in your notebooks or <laughs> apparently on your kindle cases in one of my last stationary haul videos i did which is probably over a year ago now i talked about how i got a photo album coffee table book i think it was this one in particular that i got this one's from indigo but this this was a simpler version of my favorite one, which is this one from Printworks. It actually looks like a coffee table book, but then you open it up and it's a full on photo album book. I love it so much because it really is a piece of decor, not just a memory keeper and I find photo albums so often look kind of like meh. This one is nice too. I just wish it had a little bit more book-like qualities to it, but it does come in this beautiful linen. However, Printworks recently came out with a new take on this coffee table photo album book that looks even more like a book than before. It's in the mail right now. I have to go pick it up from my PO box, so I'll include B-roll of it. I adored the look of it online and then after I put the order in, I did realize that Indigo also sells it, so I was able to see it in person in store and it's just so cool. I love it. I love having photo albums. I love printing photos during my two weeks off. I ended up printing 150, 170 photos and that's how this photo album ended up getting completely filled but I still have leftover photos so I was on the hunt immediately for another photo album and that's how I came across this one. I just think it's really special to have a tangible thing to flip through and even the process of going through this photo album, putting the photos together, grouping like ones together, just felt like the ultimate cathartic walk down 
down memory lane. When the photo albums look good, like these ones do, you are more likely to have them out as decor and then more likely to actually look through them rather than letting them just collect dust. I mean, like, look at that photo of me as a baby. How cool is she? These kinds of albums only have blank sheets. They don't have pockets for you to slip the photos in. So to paste the photos in, I used uh, double-sided squares. Very simple to use. You can get ones that are temporary or permanent adhesive. So I opt for the permanent ones just so that they don't go anywhere, but they are really effective for projects like this. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video, and don't forget to click the link in the description box below to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I feel pretty good about this stationery haul. I don't think I went too, too crazy, but it did scratch an itch, and I feel like I got some things that I actually did really need. I think the most impulsive purchase was definitely those HomeSense purchases, the notepads from Fringe, but they're so cute. And how much were they? Like $5.99, $5.99. They brought me so much joy for such a low cost. Sometimes the impulse purchases are fine. I'm curious to know in the comment section down below, do you annotate your books? And if you do, what's your favorite tool to do it with? Also, what is your most used stationary item? Especially if you're not a student, I'm always curious to hear because I feel like it's a whole different ball game when you don't have schoolwork. Especially in today's day and age, there's so much digital stuff. On that note, I'll see you soon with a new one. Oh, on that note, stationary video. I'll see you soon with a new one. And until then, bye guys. So keep it in your pocket for some keeping. Let nobody be the reason You throw it out You stop caring about it Don't let your head get in the way Can't be defined by your mistakes You know you try and you try really hard But sometimes you fall You're some